A New Jersey resident named Charlie Davis is 57 years old, and he has end-stage renal failure. Now, one of the symptoms of that is nerve damage, and especially in his legs, and it's intense pain that oftentimes stops him from being able to sleep, and sometimes it stops him from even being able to walk. Well, uh, he was bumped from his job that he held for five years at New Jersey Transit as a clerk by a more senior worker. Apparently, the way that the rules work is uh, if you're a more senior worker and you want some position that I guess somebody else has, you're able to bump them. Seems a little weird, but nonetheless, that's uh, what the article indicated here. So he tried to get reassignment at a different position, and uh, New Jersey Transit made him take a drug test. Now, he immediately disclosed and immediately explained to them that, look, man, I have end-stage renal failure. I use medical marijuana. I need medical marijuana. Here are the symptoms. This is what my doctor says. Here's the proof, yada, yada. And uh, he still ended up having to take the drug test. Like, what the fuck? Do you, do you not have ears? Did you hear his explanation? Or what, what are you doing? What's going on here? I don't understand. This sounds like a bureaucratic nightmare. So you explain to somebody exactly what the situation is, and they're like, yeah, anyway, I'm still going to need you to do this. So, of course, the test came back positive for weed, and then they made him go to drug rehab. What the fuck? Did you not hear at any point? Did you not hear what he's telling you? He's telling you, yes, I have end-stage renal failure. Here's my, my evidence from my doctor. Here's this. Here's that. Uh, what's the problem here? This is the situation. Why are you not understanding this? It's medical marijuana. Well, uh, they made him go to drug rehab, and then after that nightmare, they still didn't give him the position. I cannot tell you how angry this story makes me. Because it's like every single step of the way... It was stupid on behalf of New Jersey Transit. They couldn't have been more wrong every single step of the way. From bumping him originally and saying, sorry, the more senior guy wants the job, you don't have it anymore. To, you know, even making him apply to another job. What, you don't just shuffle him around and say, hey, here's your new place. Nothing? So th making him apply, making him go through a drug test, sending him to fucking rehab, and then not giving him the job after all that? All right, uh, to say this is discrimination is an understatement, you know? Like, it'd be one thing if one of those things happened. Like, okay, they made you take the test, but hey, oh, we get it. You, oh, medical marijuana? Sure. Here's your evidence? Sure. Okay, you get the position. Like, if one thing happened, maybe. Like, okay, it's annoying. They made him take the test, but whatever. He, they're still going to give him the job. All right, it's still fucked up, but fine. We'll let it slide. But in this case, I would fucking sue if I was the guy. And I would say, I, you don't get it. Like... And this is the problem, man. The way that we function as a society, oftentimes we're going off of these old molds, these old mindsets that we have. We still have a very large strain of that old school puritanism inside of us where we view the idea of uh, illegal substances or just substances in general oftentimes as bad. These are bad. Don't do this on the job. Just bad. And it's just this mental block. And there's no room for nuance, there's no room for shades of gray as opposed to black and white. And everybody's just walking around like a mindless zombie where they say, this is the way the system works and I am going to have to uh, use this mold no matter what. Even if it is an extenuating circumstance, even if the guy proves it's medical marijuana, even if he has fucking renal failure. And then we're still not going to give him the job, we'll make him go to fucking rehab. And it's crazy and it's annoying and I'm so sick of it and I'm so sick of the way that, you know... What we need is a, a change, uh, other than a change in the laws, which I'm obviously on the on the page of. We also need a change in the in the mental outlook on the way things work. Like we're slightly moving in that direction, you know. With what is it now? Fifty eight percent of the American people want legal marijuana. That's a big move in the right direction. But we got to get to the point where it's more of we're just more open minded on these issues, because there was really never a any evidence in the first place that you know the majority of people, or even or even a lot of people that take substances, that it'll ruin their life. I, hate, I, I mean, I hate to burst your bubble if you're still living in that old-school conservative, uh, you know, view that, well, obviously we need to keep all these things illegal because people will fucking ruin their lives if they're not uh, illegal. Duh. Not the truth, man.
you know, almost every single uh, drug that people take recreationally, there are a handful that are exceptions because they're made with, like, fucking diesel fuel and shit that kills you in a year, right? Whether it's crystal meth or crocodile or bath salts or whatever. Like, there are, bar just a handful, almost every single recreational drug, people can take it and they can take it, you know, it moderately. Doesn't destroy their life, and it's the same thing as if you go out after work and you have a couple beers with your buddy, you know? So we have to try to change the way people perceive this stuff and try to get them to fully be in that libertarian mindset of like, well, as long as you don't hurt anybody else, whatever, man, it is what it is. But when I read a story like this, I think we still have a long way to go.